By the end of this video, you'll know exactly how to create YouTube shorts like Ali Abdal using CatCut so you can get millions of views on your shorts like I have on my small travel channel. I'll share with you five steps Ali uses to go viral on YouTube. But be careful, if you skip the last one, it could be the reason your views look like this. Besides brilliant ideas and textbook perfect storytelling, one thing that keeps Ali's viewers engaged for the entire video is that something is constantly happening and moving on screen. Let's learn to do that with an Ali Abdal style short about, let's say, Mr. Beast's secrets you won't believe are true. I filmed this video 16x9, that's widescreen on my Sony, instead of 9x16 vertical. So first we need to make this a vertical video. Super easy to do in CapCut. You simply click on ratio and choose 9x16, which is the aspect ratio for Instagram Reels, TikTok, and YouTube Shorts. You may notice that the video doesn't fit. That's easy enough to fix. We simply click on the video. Go over here to the slider for scale and scale it up to the appropriate size. And bam, we fill the screen and We'll just slide it over to the left a tiny bit so that it's centered. The first thing Ali does in every single one of his shorts is he is constantly popping in and out of the frame and zooming in and out. I mean, it looks like he's like, ah, you know, just, just doing that, but, but he's not, he's, he's doing this. First thing we want to do is duplicate this layer. You'll see why a little bit later, but this gives us two layers to work with in case we want to say, cut me out and change the background and things like that. To do that, first thing we're gonna do is cut me out. I'm gonna click over here on cut out and select auto cut out. And you can see right here that it's applying the cut out over the duration of this whole clip. And it's already done, but you can't really tell because this layer is below. So I'm gonna hide this layer by clicking this dude right here. And now you can see that I'm cut out. Whoa, how do I jump to the bottom of the frame with maybe a different background? To do that, I go to the point where I wanna start falling out of the frame and select the clip go over here to video basic and set the keyframes for scale and position, the two properties we're gonna change. And a keyframe marks the beginning or the end of a change in a property. We're changing scale and position. We're gonna have me drop out of the frame. And then go forward maybe, I don't know, 10 frames. And then we're gonna position and scale me to where I want to be in this image. And I wanna be lower, so I'm gonna click on me and drag me down to here. And I want the scale to be smaller too. So I'm gonna like, eh, change it like that. So I'm kinda, you can see more of me, see my hands and stuff. Right there is good. And that's all there is to doing a basic drop to the bottom of the screen. Mr. Beast started. That looks okay, but it's a little linear. It's like kinda jerky when it starts and stops. To fix that, we can smooth out the keyframes. We click on the clip, we right click, and we select show keyframe animation. Here we can see the keyframes that we can adjust. We're just gonna mess with scale. You can mess with the other ones in the same way if you want, but just click on scale, click on this little arrow right here, click on the keyframes we wanna modify. This is the second one and this is the first one. So we'll just click on this guy and this little graph lets us smooth out the scaling. So instead of like start, stop, it goes in and eases in and eases out. So we'll click on this guy for an auto curve. Then we'll click on the first keyframe and select auto curve again. And we're gonna hide that by hitting Option K on a Mac, Alt K on a PC. And let's see if that looks any better. Mr. Beast started YouTube. Smoothing all the other keyframes looks like this now. Mr. Beast started YouTube. One other thing you can do to make this look better is add a little motion blur. Now you might think, oh, I'll just add motion blur down here in this tab. But when you do that, Mr. Beast the only thing that it blurs is what's moving on the screen, my hands. But when I'm creating false blur, like when I'm moving it, it doesn't blur that. So we have to kind of cheat it. So I'm gonna uncheck this motion blur. Gonna go over here to body effects and hit clone. Then I'm gonna look for apparate one, which is this effect here. I'm gonna drop it on top of the timeline and have it start and stop right in between the keyframes. So I'm gonna have it start right about there. And so I can see the keyframes. I'm gonna drag it back to here and have it end right before that last keyframe. When I click on the effect, I can see the parameters I can adjust. I want the rotation to be vertical. So I'm gonna rotate this till it's vertical. Right there looks about right. Then I'm going to adjust the blur amount to something more reasonable, just so it gives the illusion of motion. And now let's see what it looks like. Mr. Beast started using and that looks, that looks more natural. These little tweaks that you don't think about are the things that are gonna separate you from everybody else and you have a lot of competition, so you, you better pay attention. That's how Ali drops to the bottom of the screen or pops back up and blows back up, you know, bigger in the top of the screen. But what if he wants to leave the screen? It's exactly the same thing. You click on the clip, you set a keyframe where you're gonna start the motion, move forward maybe five or six frames, 
And then because I have a keyframe set already for position, if I move myself, it will automatically set another keyframe. So I'm just going to drag myself to the right till I'm off screen. And look at that, it set another keyframe. And now I have, and of course you could add the motion blur and smooth out the keyframes just like we did previously. He's also zooming in and zooming out on himself constantly so there's always motion. Here's how you do that. I'll just set a keyframe for scale and position where I wanna start doing that. And then this is gonna be a little more gentle, go forward a little farther, move myself up, scale myself a little bit. We can also smooth this out, but for now it looks like this. Mr. Beast started YouTube in 2000. And bam, he just does that constantly in these videos. Besides Please. dropping down on the screen and popping off the screen and slowly zooming in, when Ali is on screen, he's often just kind of floating. You could create that effect one keyframe at a time, have him move around, smooth them all out, or you could just use one simple filter. So to do that, we're gonna click on the clip. We're gonna split it here by clicking this. We're gonna click on video effects and go up here and type rebound. And we have rebound swing, you drop it on here, and now look what happens. It looks pretty good right out of the box, but we can adjust the distance that I'm moving and the speed and kind of slow it down. And now it'll look like this. Just a little bit of gentle, subtle motion to keep the viewer engaged. Number three, Ali is constantly changing his background. Sometimes he uses these cool textured backgrounds that are just kind of moving in the background like that. So you can grab anything off the internet. I grabbed a couple here. I'm gonna go into my media, click on my graphics folder, and just grab this blue fabric so you can see what it looks like. First, we need to scale it up. And to make it move around, we could add that rebound effect, or we could add another effect that's gonna give it that more jittery background effect that Ali uses. To do that, we're just gonna go over here to Effects. I'm gonna type in Shake, hit Enter, and you got Camera Shake right here. Kinda shakes it, not quite the look we're going for, but if we make sure it's highlighted, we can change the range so it's maybe a little lower and change the speed so it slows down. And now, that's not too bad. Let's bump the range a little bit so it's a little closer to what alley stuff looks like. And now we have, but what do you do with these backgrounds? You gotta have something over them. Well, that's what we did in the beginning. So let's go ahead and take this background, put it right here, slide all the way over. And now look at this. Whoa, that's me, just like an alley video. A little bonus tip, sometimes he'll start on the normal background and then the background will fade away and you'll see him. This effect is super easy to do, it's already set up for it. We're gonna position the playhead where we want the blue background to start to show up and make sure it's highlighted. Go over here to opacity, select a keyframe, go forward a few frames, maybe four. Select another keyframe and we're gonna go back to this first keyframe and take it down to zero. So now we see the original background. In fact, we can get rid of here because there's a little bit of an outline, it doesn't look as natural. We're just going to go ahead and delete that first part of this clip. So now watch what happens. Mr. Beast started YouTube. Whoa, it started with that background and this background fades out and now we have this other background and he jumps down there. Whoa, it's alley stuff happening before your very eyes. Mr. Beast the fourth thing Ali does in a lot of his videos is he adds cool textures to actual photos and videos. To do that, let's go ahead into our graphics folder. Grab an image of Jimmy himself. Let's drop it at the end of the timeline so you can see what's going on with it. We're gonna go ahead and fill the screen with him. And now we're just gonna jump over here to effects again and type in texture. And now we see blue mosaic, look at this. Looks a little bit harsh, but you can adjust the amount, the size adjust the amount of texture, and then, dang, you got something that looks really good. What could be better than that? Oh, only one thing. You jump back in over here, type in rebound for a favorite effect, drop that on here, and a, what was a boring photo before, now looks like this. Whoa! The other thing Ellie does is he uses a lot of text and it's always in motion. He does things like this and this. We're gonna learn how to do both of them right now. To add text, you simply click on text, you can take default text and you hit the plus sign. You wanna type in something that complements what you're saying with the text selected, come over to the text tab, basic, click on font and choose a font that you wanna use. How about that one, pretty readable. Then you wanna click on animation, loop, and find the one that says float. Then you wanna appropriately position the font. We can start it right as my head's dropping down there because we can see the font behind me, watch this. Started YouTube in 2012 and is a broke 13 then you just adjust it to fit and bam 
If you don't have the pro version, there's another option. It's called Jiggly. It's right here. It started YouTube in 2012 and, a and that looks, it looks almost the same. Now you can adjust these fonts. If you want them to go faster or slower, we can go like this. It started YouTube in 2012. Barely moving or bring it way down here. And it it's jiggling way more. The other thing Ali does a lot with fonts is have it type on. Let's delete this text and create some new text by clicking on text, default text. Let's drag it down here. Let's choose a font that is consistent with typing. How about, I don't know, Courier New. That's a pretty typey font. Let's make it bold so it's a little more readable. Put it up here. Click on it to position it. And then we just come over here to Animation, In, and we just look for Typewriter. Here's one, and it's free. Now that typed on really fast. No fun. So we just click on the text, and over here we slide it and have it type on more slowly like this. That's not bad, what would make it better? Let's go over here to audio, click on sound effects, type in typewriter, drag it down here, position it appropriately so that the sound starts when the typing starts. Delete what we don't need by dragging it back here and let's see if we like this. Implementing these five things and a couple more things that I showed you in this video, I created this using exclusively CapCut. Mr. Beast started YouTube in 2012 when he was a broke 13-year-old kid recording gaming videos on a crappy laptop. His mom said he could only live at home if he went to college, so he pretended to go to college but made YouTube videos instead. When he started making YouTube money, he told his mom and moved out the next day. His first viral video was, I counted to 100,000. 99,430. At age 25, he's dating her worth $500 million and has almost 200 million subscribers. If you want to learn to edit like Mr. Beast so you can have a girlfriend like Thea and be worth half a billion dollars, watch this video. And remember that in order to do everything you just saw in that video, you need to watch this video next where I share with you five more Ali Abdal secrets for getting zillions of views using CapCut. Go, go watch it now, man.